high. For 99 pesos a minute, you can have a good time. Call me now. Okay, no, that was too much. So I'm in my uh, cousin's room. Check it out. Come on, home and gardens. Come on, inspirational pillows. Come on, teenage dream. Yes. All right, so it's my first night in the Philippines and um, it's been 10 years since I've gotten back. And it's been, it was like completely dark when we were driving back here and um, to Marikina City. And uh, it was interesting driving back because I was seeing advertising, I was seeing models that looked like me. You know, like had the same color as me and had the same facial features. And I thought that was interesting because I'm not used to that. I'm used to seeing European features. And I know there's a lot of um, still like anti-brownness because of the history of colonialism and we still uh, seek European features. Um, but I think that's like an interesting thing for me to be here for three weeks and to see people that look like me um, being portrayed in media and in the in the forefront of media. So that's going to be interesting for me to see how that affects me because I feel like that'll build momentum the next three weeks I'll be here. And um, I was thinking about how I'm recently becoming more woke about Filipino history and its terrible past with colonialism and neo-colonialism that's happening, imperialism and things like that. And I'm realizing, like, as I can be mad about it as much as I want, and I think that's okay. Um, I feel like I also have to uh, adapt to it. Um, I feel like I, as much as I can be mad about it, it is a reality of Filipinos' history. And I'm trying to figure out how do I focus on things that are like truly from the Filipino heart and not from this history of junk, which I think will always be kind of semi fused with it. But yeah, so that's what I'm going through right now as I'm sitting here in my cousin's bed. Just, you know, enjoying life with this really nice air conditioner that's quiet. And um, she has a walk-in closet, y'all. It's amazing. Like, my family is not that far from my personality. No matter how uh, distant we are geographically, man, we're pretty similar. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. <sighs> the plane was so horrible, y'all. None of the Wi-Fi worked, and um, it was just, uh, I didn't know what to do. And I was, uh, okay, well, um, I'm just gonna go to bed now because I'm exhausted. Okay, bye.